Hey, St. John family. Welcome to another week's Children's Worship Service lesson. I hope you had a great week. I hope you were kind and helpful, and I hope you learned a lot. Before we get started, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us this time to study your word. We pray that we learn just a little bit more about how great you are, God, and the plans that you have for our lives. So remove any distractions right now as we begin this lesson. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, everyone. I am so excited that you're here with me today. So all summer we've been talking about making waves. And I don't mean making actual waves like you would in a pool or an ocean. I mean we can make waves by sharing God's love with others. We know this is true. What you do today can change the world around you. Now, sometimes changing the world sounds like this impossible, like super huge thing that we could never accomplish. But we've been learning that we can change the world around us just by treating others the way we want to be treated. With the help of God's spirit, we can show things like love and joy and peace and patience and, and kindness. We can even show God's goodness and show people how how we care that will help them see that God cares about them too we'll talk about that some more in today's lesson but first you know what time it is praise and worship you ready so let's all get on our feet and prepare our hearts to sing and celebrate what God has done my heart overflows when I think about all God's goodness I can't stop singing God's praises and that's what I want us to do today sing those praises. So join in with me. You ready? Here we go. You're my calm in the chaos, my peace in the war. You speak light into darkness. You tell me I'm yours. Only you, Jesus, are in control. Today, I want you to know that our God is good. God is loving and kind. As, as David wrote in Psalms 145 at uh, verses 8 and 9, The Lord is gracious, kind and tender. He is slow to get angry and full of love. The Lord is good to all. He shows 
deep concern for everything he has made. Isn't that amazing to hear? God cares for us. God shows deep concern for us. So let's remember that as we begin today's lesson. Okay, so we've been talking about what it means to make waves with the, the way we live each day. And when we put our faith in Jesus, we have the gift of God's Holy Spirit living inside us. And God's Spirit will help us make waves by showing things like love and joy and peace and patience and, and kindness. One important way we can make waves is by showing God's goodness to others. Jesus talked about that one day as he was speaking to his followers on the hillside. He explained that we can show how good God is by the way we live our lives each day. And Jesus made his point in a really cool way by talking about light and darkness. Let's take a look at what Jesus said to his followers that day. It can be found in Matthew chapter 5 at verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill can't be hidden. Also, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Okay, so let's go back for a minute. You are the light of the world. Think about that for a minute. You reflect God's light into the world. You are like a light that helps others see. But how do you do that? How do you shine your light? What do you need to do to show God's goodness to the world? Well, when you act with kindness and compassion to the people around you, you shine your light. When you choose joy, even during times when things are hard and, and they're just not going your way, you shine your light. When you make peace while others are taking sides, you shine your light. With the way you act and the way you treat people around you, you can show God's goodness. You shine God's light into the world. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. He also said, a town built on a hill can't be hidden. Now, I know we don't fully understand or appreciate this idea today since we have lots of lights that come on at night. But back then, people didn't have electricity. They didn't even have flashlights. They had candles and, and campfires. So imagine if you were a traveler making your way through the darkness. A glowing light from a city in the distance would fill you with some kind of hope. Jesus said that if we live a life full of good deeds, other people will notice. They'll see us shining like a city in the distance. Each good thing we do brings a little more light. People will see the good things we do, and that will help them see how good God is. When you're kind to the new kid at school who feels alone and scared, you shine a little light in the world. When you take care of someone in your family who's sick, you shine a little light in the world. When you have a good attitude, even when you don't get your way, you shine a little light into the world. When you're having trouble with a friend, but you choose not to say something mean back, you shine a little light into the world. Each of us can shine our light each day, every day, in so many different ways. Each of us is designed to reflect a unique part of God's goodness to the world. And we can all do it together. When we do that, we light up the world like a city on a hill. God's Spirit living inside of us can help us shine the light of God's goodness and brighten the world around us. Remember, in everything we say and do, let's show God's goodness to others. Let's pray. Dear God, you are so good. Everything you do is good. Through your Holy Spirit, please show us how we can reflect your love and goodness to the people around us. Help us be the light for you with the way that we live and, and treat each other every day. Thank you for sending Jesus to be the light of the world and for letting us be a part of your story. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. So we see what can happen when we show God's goodness to others. It's like Jesus said, we are the light of the world. 
we're like the city on the hill and we're shining our light in the darkness. And here's what we need to remember today. In case you missed it earlier, it's our bottom line. Show God's goodness to others. And if you think about it, people should be able to see the difference God has made in our lives. It, it should be clear from the way we speak and act and the way we treat others. People should be able to tell that there's something about us that's different in a good way. If, if we can get this right, we'll really be able to make waves and make a difference in the world around us. This all happens because of God's Holy Spirit living inside of us. The Spirit helps us show God's goodness to the world, like a light shining in the darkness. None of us will get, get it right every single time. But when we come together as the church, we can work together to help people see how much God loves them. Let's remember this great challenge Jesus gave us. It's at Matthew chapter 5 at verse 16. Let your light shine so others can see it. They will see the good things you do, and they will bring joy to your Father who is in heaven. We can talk more about this once the video ends. But for right now, I want you to remember that you can show God's goodness to others. So thank you for joining me this week. I pray that you've learned how valuable it is when you let your light shine so that others can see it and God gets the glory. So I challenge you to do that. Let your light shine. And until I see you again, I pray that God blesses you and your family. Take care. Have a You're great week. You're my calm in the chaos. My peace in the world. You speak light into darkness. You tell me I'm yours. Only you, Jesus, are in control. You are.